Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Moina Bass Fishers. I am Jim Moina, professional bass fisherman. In this video, we are going to discuss the first day of practice here at the 2024 Bassmaster Open on Lake St. Clair by Detroit, Michigan. So <clears throat> today was uh, a weekend following the 4th of July and it was a just unbelievable boat wakes out there today uh, we had a light breeze I mean like a five mile an hour breeze maybe as much as eight at one point probably not ten and <laughs> which would make it normally just beautiful but the boat wakes were insane I mean the whole lake the whole lake is doing this <laughs> and uh, just trying just trying to uh, exercise you know decent bulk control was a, a real challenge today and, and we I mean I knew that I knew this was coming it was no surprise I know I know what this lake's about I know what fourth of July weekends are all about for people for a lot of people so and the boats are all there's so many big boats out here because it's a great this is basically one of the you know it's part of the Great Lakes so there's gonna be big boats and they're gonna be driving them on this weekend and they're gonna be driving them fast they're gonna be driving them slow they are gonna be driving them so anyways uh, so that's kind of the big story I was I was gonna go fish Canada today um, the Canadian side thinking that would be not as busy and I never did get over there, so that'll be have to be for tomorrow because it's probably going to be busy again tomorrow. We're going to have another nice day. It was really nice weather for sure. Great, great Fourth of July uh, weekend um, type weather. But I'm thinking if I go over to Canada, maybe it won't be quite so busy. I hope. I could be wrong. Who knows? We'll see. But as far as the fishing goes today, um, it really really wasn't that good probably had 17 pounds for my best five and I don't know historically you gotta have like 20 to do well here 20 pounds a day or better so and I didn't really catch that many so it was it was kind of a disappointing day really I did have I mean my biggest one was about four and a half and I had a couple three and a halfs and some threes. So, um, but dang, he, I mean, if you're on them here, you're getting multiple bites from, uh, you're getting multiple four pound plus bites. And I just had one of those. So that's, that's gotta change. I gotta change things up. Um, not sure exactly what. This lake's always kind of had my number um, yeah, I catch smallmouths like crazy back in Minnesota, but here, <laughs> I just, I just don't have this place, uh, tuned in. I, I don't have it unlocked, so to speak, but, uh, you know, we got four more practice days and, uh, these fish can only be in so many places. So we will, we'll get this thing figured out. Anyhow, um, as far as uh, the day, tomorrow, yeah, I'm going to go fish Canada tomorrow. Just try to get away from everything. Thinking, you know, my line of thinking is um, everybody in the U.S. side is celebrating the 4th of July weekend. But to the Canadians, maybe it's just a regular weekend, so there won't be quite as many. That's my thought. It could be wrong. <clears throat> All right, well, the last thing I'll say is uh, I buried, buried a hook past the barb today in my finger. Um, luckily, it was a small, there's, there's the, uh, the, where, where the, uh, right, 
right there is where where the hook went in. Luckily, it was a small hook, and uh, it came out real easy. It's always kind of nerve wracking, but for me, um, I just took I just took my needle nose and just back it out. Just you know, gave it the old one, two, three, and then pop it, pop it hard with the needle nose, and uh, yeah, no pro no problems. So. So that was fun. First time I've done that, in, actually, in a couple of years now. So, and how did it happen? Well, um, I swung, and, and I've done, this has happened the same. This is how I've hooked myself a couple times in the hands. You swing a fish into the, uh, swing a fish into the boat. So, the weight of the fish has got the rod loaded, and then I go to grab the line above the fish. Because I'm going to grab the line and then grab the fish like this. So I go to grab the line. The fish shakes. He throws the hook. He, the hook comes undone. The rod is loaded still. So the lure just springs up because of the loaded rod. And it just launches it right into my hand. So I've actually have buried hooks in my hand more than once. Doing that same, you know, from that same scenario. I guess I'll never learn. All right, that's enough for this video, and thanks for watching. Over.